Here's a question about something called inequalities. Big fancy word there. But an inequality means that two things are not equal. So for example, the numbers 1 and 2. They're different numbers. So how do we write a symbol that describes that? Well, I would write a symbol like this, which means that 2 is bigger than 1, right? And that makes sense. We know 2 is bigger. And you can think and, and help remember this symbol right here. Um, one thing that's often thrown out there is think of it as some kind of an alligator, right? This symbol is an alligator. Here's my alligator. And the alligator, being an alligator, is hungry. So it wants to eat the bigger number. So alligators eat more, right? So the mouth is open towards the number it wants to eat, the bigger number. So when they ask us in this question which number sentence is true, they're saying which of these actually shows the right order here for the inequality. And you might be wondering, what's a number sentence? Well, anything that says something like 1 plus 2 is 3, that's an equation, right? But we also call it a number sentence. Anything that also says something like this, right? 2 is bigger than 1, or like this, 2 is bigger than 1. These are all examples of number sentences. You can think of a number sentence as an equation or a relationship between numbers, right? This tells us that 1 and 2 make 3, or that 3 is equal to 1 and 2. These tell us that 1 is smaller than 2, or 2 is bigger than 1. So it's a relationship. It describes numbers. Which of these makes sense? Well, the first one's not right. Because look at our alligator. It's eating 60. But alligators wouldn't eat the smaller number, and 60 is smaller than 65. So this one is not true. The next one does make sense. Because the alligator is eating the number 30, which is more than 25. So this is true. It tells us that 30 is more than 25. But let's look at the others just to be really clear. 15 is not bigger than 25, so why would our alligator want to face open to 15 and eat 15? They wouldn't go for that. And the last one's also out because why would the alligator again eat 30? 30 is smaller than 55, right? So this is not true. So here, the only symbol that's set up right, and it's true, that's the in math, when something is correct, and always correct, you can call it something that's true, right? Like true or false. This is always true. 30 is always bigger than 25. So that's our answer, B. Thanks a lot.